Welcome back to Simply Sweet. I'm Allison Gargaro. Today we're going to be making raspberry lemon bars. Now these are the perfect balance of sweet and tart and they are nice and refreshing on a warm summer day. Let's get started. We're going to start by making the crust. So I have two cups of flour that we're going to put into a mixing bowl, a half a cup of sugar, and then one cup of softened butter. So that's two sticks. Let's Make sure these go in here. And then I'm going to use a pastry cutter, but you can use a fork or even your hands, it might get a little bit messy, but you just want the butter to look like the size of peas incorporated with all the flour, and then you know you're ready. Now that the crust is mixed, we're going to put it in a greased nine by 13 pan. So let's just dump this in here. And then we are actually going to use our fingers to press this out. I use, like to use my knuckles and you just want it to be in a thin but even layer. Now that the crust is ready, we're going to pop it into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes till the top is golden brown but not burnt. The crust is baking in the oven. We're going to move on to the lemon mixture. So I'm going to start by cracking four eggs into a bowl. Now we're gonna beat the eggs together. Next, I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar and then a fourth a cup of flour. And then it is on to the lemon. So I'm going to bring my cutting board over and we are actually going to have the zest of two lemons. And then we are going to juice these two lemons as well. Now we're going to whisk this all together to make sure that that lemon zest is incorporated in every single bite you're gonna get. Now that the crust is out of the oven, we are going to pour our lemon mixture right on top. Make sure that it covers every nook and cranny of the crust. Mmm, this smells so delicious. Now it's time to add the raspberries. So I'm going to individually put them in a nice little row so that when we cut these bars, every little bar has a raspberry right in the middle. But you could fold in any other type of fruit that you would like, just make sure that you're folding so it doesn't make the mixture a different color. Now we're going to pop this back into the oven for another 20, 25 minutes until the mixture thickens. I let the lemon bars cool for two hours before I cut them into squares and dusted some powdered sugar on top. But you just wanna make sure that they are completely cooled before you put the powdered sugar on top or else it's going to melt right in with the lemon bars. But it is finally time to taste. I can't wait. I've been waiting for these. Mm. Oh my. It isn't too sweet or too tart, it's just Perfect, but I want to hear how you guys like it in the comments below. I use lemon, but orange or key lime would be great in this as well. Make sure to give me a like on Facebook, Simply Sweet Allison. Thanks for watching. Professional kitchen and appliances provided by Earners, Kern County's appliance leader.